What's up guys, Dr. Fluster here, and welcome back to I Build, I Score. Um, as you can see, there's still a manager here for some reason. I uh, don't know why he's there, actually. Um, as you can tell, we are going to kick this new season uh, and slash series of this off with Swansea. Um, very, very good team. I did enjoy playing with them. A um, couple of things that I would have liked to have done more uh, with certain players is like get more goals um, but literally I played I, I did I did play a fair fair few games with them because uh, this was the first team that I built on this game apart from a bronze Korean squad um, pardon me sorry and um, yeah they are pretty decent so let's kick it off with the obvious Michel Vorm um, he's good for what you need him to be good for, if you know what I mean. Um, so the thing that tells you clean sheets, no, but uh, he's good. He he does what it says on the tin. He stands in the middle of the net and hopes for the best. <laughs> and a right back. Now I've got two. We've got Jose Rangel there, but we also have Obeng. Now, I played Obeng a lot more than I played um, Angel Rangel. Um, mainly for the fact of his pace, because he would run past the centre mid on the right, which I had, I will, was De Guzman. Um, so he would carry on running, he'd run down the ring, and then he'd be able to play that to Dyer, and Dyer would be able to play that one-two with him or something like that. Uh, it just worked out a lot better. Uh, for the first centre back, we have Williams. Not much I can say about him. I didn't really notice anything about him that really, really stood out about, like in general. Um, he's a good player. Don't get me wrong. He's a very, very good player. I'll give him that. Um, but for me, he just didn't do anything that really, really stood out. Um, for the second one, we have Chico Flores. Um, I like him. I thought he was very good. Uh, again, they haven't got the best pace in the world, but they're defending and heading stats quite nice, especially on Williams. His heading stats is 83. Uh, and Chico is 6'2", so he's the same height as me. Got very good jumping. I did like that about him. Um, I generally thought he was very good. Uh, I did get a goal with him from a corner, and um, I will show you now. So as you can see, I actually played Pablo Hernandez this game. He whips it in and Flores just out-jumps the defender. Like He shouldn't be doing that with the defender in front of him. But hey-ho, this is FIFA. We all love it, really. So that was the centre-backs. And now for the left-back, we have Taylor. I like him. I thought he was very good. Again, same with... Um, what's his name? Uh, no, seriously, what was his name? Um... Obeng, same with Obeng, I'd be running him down the side wing, side wing? I'd be running him down the wing, he's 78 pace, he's got a faster pace than Michu in the midfield, so yeah, it helps out a lot. And talking about midfield, let's move to our first centre mid, oh, which won't be either of them two, but I might as well put Britain down, uh, he was ten actually over this side. Um, Normally I'd play it Taylor to Britain and then Taylor would carry on the run to left forward uh, sort of place and whoever was left forward at the time would cut in some more of a striker's role and go into the box so that way we could have a pressing attack on the side. Um, Leon Britton, I like him. I think he's a good player. Um, I did enjoy playing with him. Uh, he's not... doesn't have the best stats but he's good. He's good for what I need them to be. Um... So yeah, uh, coming in in the mid mid, we have Michu. Now I put him mid for the fact he's got the slowest pace, but he has better uh, heading stats when a ball is kicked by the goalkeeper out. Uh, I did get one goal with him, um, and I will let you see that now, obviously. <laughs> so as you can see here, a bit of pass and play. Uh, Lita laying off for the assist, and Michu just Banging it at bottom left hand corner. He's got a very, very nice shooting stat, uh, shooting stat, uh, shot stat. Um, he's one of those all round players that you 
you need in a team, especially in a Swansea team, as he's a very, very good holding midfielder. But, um, so yeah, I think Michu's um, a pretty decent player. Uh, and, and now we're going to pop up with the second of our centre attacking mids, which was De Guzman. Now, I didn't know he was actually part of the team. Um, but, yeah, I... Um, Again, played him on the wing because of his pace, 77 pace, and him and Obeng, 77, Obeng with 80. It's a good link up. Like, it works. Um, so, again, the 1 2 system. I didn't get any goals with him, unluckily enough, but he is a decent, very, very decent guy. Um, and obviously, first, we have Pablo Hernandez, who I actually played on the bench a lot i didn't really get on with him because i had a lot of other people to play in those positions uh which would be these two nathan dyer and i'm gonna pop up another one wayne routledge but i played wayne routledge on the left now i used to swap i would swap wayne routledge and um uh, what's his name? Uh, Pablo Hernandez over. Um, so it would work. Uh, and then in the mid, all I might as well finish the team off. We had Danny Graham. Now, right. Dyer. What's his heading stat? 46. All his goals that I'm about to show you are headers. Sorry, I'm stretching. I don't know why I've done it then. Um, but yeah. All my goals I'm about to show you are headers done by him. He's stupidly good when it comes to headering the ball. Uh, he do he doesn't have 47 headering, I don't think. I think he has more than that. Um, but you can judge by these goals. So, yeah, some people might call these goals a bit trampy. But, um, as I say, some others might say as well. FIFA is a dog-eat-dog -dog game. It doesn't reward you if you take chances. Like, if you watch my other series, Division Dominance... A lot of my goals are scored with Landon Donovan for the fact of I don't want to chance it and take a goal with um, Robbie Keane if he's not there. Like, if Robbie Keane's back at the halfway line, I'm not going to, like, fuck about around the half, like, the touchline to try and get Robbie Keane up the pitch just so I can cross it in and he can score a header or something because I'll probably cross it in and it'll get cleared. So, it's just pointless. Um... Uh, what else was say? Not, he's got a nice shot on him as well, as you can see. There's a lot of power put into it. Um, and Pablo Hernandez misses. De Guzman picks the ball up. Dyer with his header. 40 headering. I don't think so. I do not think that is 40 head. 40 headering. And there's the last one. I mean, look at that. Out jumps him completely. And those are two goals put the round one away. So. There we have some goals from Nathan Dyer, obviously. And where would we be without one from Wayne Routledge? I'm just going to make sure I said Wayne. Yeah, it was Wayne. Uh, I was talking to my mate earlier, and he was like, I said the player, like some player's name, and he just went, who? I was just like, this guy. And he was like, nah, mate, you got the other, you got the name the wrong way around. I was like, oh, have I? Uh, and he was like, yeah. I was like, oh, that's embarrassing. Uh, but I've got a couple of goals with him. He's, uh, again, he's a good player. He's got a nice pace. He's not got the best shot. Again, not the best heading. But he's dribbling for his pace. Now, that works. You need a player that can run down the wing fast, but has a good dribble. I don't mean the stuff that comes out of your mouth. I mean dribble. He needs to be able to run down this wing. He needs to be able to cut inside, do the stuff that he needs to be able to do. So... In saying that, here's a couple of goals that he got. And here are the goals. Uh, <laughs> um, if you can't already tell, I edit a little bit, stop talking, and then I carry on, and then stop talking, and then carry on, stop talking. I do the full squad video first, and I, I start talking, and then I do this. Uh, I, do, I do the goals after. It's like I did in my old run. Um, but as you can see there, I, I was holding down the sprint button, so the bad touch came in, but it works for me. And personally, Wayne Routledge is one of those players that I would have in a team anyway. <laughs> and last but not least, we have ye old Danny Graham. Now, uh, I know a lot of you, if you are Geordies, are all sitting there doing that. <laughs> with the thumb and the finger thing, his little celebration. Um, 
but uh, I enjoyed playing with him. He didn't. He didn't feel strong, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna put the rest of the Swansea players that I had on my bench. Lita, I love Lita. Like him pairing up with Dyer and Routledge was one of the best pairings I could have done. I only played him um, for. Uh, what's it called? Two games, but he scored five. Um, for some reason, I have none of those on video, I don't think. Um, if I do, I'll chuck them in at the end. Sorry, uh, this is a new format I'm doing it in. Um, so I've been editing all day. Um, but I'll chuck them in at the end. I'll chuck Danny Graham's one in a bit, uh, in a sec. I'm just going to finish off talking about the team. And here is said goal. Uh, it's a fucking lucky one. It would have been Dyer's sixth goal. <laughs> of this video had it not been one of those bullshit rebounds that FIFA just so loves to give you. <laughs> um, overall, this team out of 10, I'd say 7.5. They're not brilliant, they don't have the pastiest players, but like having, look, I mean, look, you've got three people there, a right back, a right forward and a striker over 80 pace or 80 pace. You've got a pretty decent midfield. They're not the best, but they're good. And the attack, you, you, there's not much you can say about it. They do what they do in real life. So, and I'm managing to change the formation now. Um, I'm going to chuck in Danny Graham's goal in a second. And any if um, that I got of Lita, um, just in case I did get any, if I managed to remember to record them. And Leroy! Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully I'll try and get the next one out. The next one um, will be out pretty soon. I'm going to try and do the editing for that now. Um, so, whilst this renders. Um, so, I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.